Hello again YouTube and I'm back with an informational video here and in this video here, this video is in, in response to a couple questions that a couple of viewers uh, posed about you know my monitoring and one made a, made the request of you know making a video and explaining you know why I use certain monitors and, and so forth. Um, this right here is a the uh, remote control unit that comes with the Magnuson inverter. They, they don't come together, you have to buy this separately and it's not cheap but it is definitely necessary I found it to be necessary uh, if you actually own one of these units why because this particular unit gives you the ability it gives you some information about the battery voltage and the amps and stuff like that but it's not really accurate but you know what this mate this unit is mainly used for is the ability it gives you the ability to access the advanced features that the Magnuson inverter gives you like it, you know it gives you the ability to set when you know when you want it to connect like for instance I can connect with voltage uh, based on the battery voltage or the time of day um, or I can just simply say don't connect to the grid at all uh, if I'm in a situation or a place where there is no uh, grid power now there was a question as to you know when you would set you know like for instance it, the connect based on time of day this particular feature is in for those folks that are you know generally in a, in places where their utility has is based on I mean their rates are based on time of usage or you know time of day uh, like for instance if your your utility says okay during the time during peak times like for instance uh, during the day or during the night whichever you know wherever you are they will charge you a higher rate during a you know from from a a specific time period let's say from eight in the morning till four in the afternoon or from eight at night till about you know uh, you know five or six in the morning then they will charge you a higher rate so you can actually capitalize on you know on the system by saying okay well during those times I'm gonna use my battery power and not be charged that that higher rate so uh, or essentially you can say well I will charge my batteries during the time of the lowest rate and use that power during the time of the highest rate. So this is what this is this is what this setting is generally used for. Okay, that's time of day. Okay, now for time for voltage based on battery, this is voltage based on bat uh, or connect based on battery voltage. Now the reason you would use this, let's say for instance, like okay, at night I want to go off grid. So I say, okay, I, I'm going to go off grid at, let's say, 9 o'clock at night or something like that. And um, this is telling the system, hey, I want you to connect or disconnect from the, the, the grid and reconnect to the grid when my battery voltage reaches the, a, the low voltage cutoff. And so that way I don't have to get up in the middle of the night or I don't have to get up in the morning or whatever and you know uh, and wonder oh you know say well the battery or the inverter just clicked off or something like that I don't have to worry about it so what happens is when that when it hits that low battery voltage it says no problem it just switches over to grid and starts charging the battery also during the day let's say my charge controller you know this trimet or TriStar MPPT 600 volt charge controller for Morningstar um, and, and, you know, during the day, this will also allow my charge controller to um, essentially work in conjunction with my inverter to to not only charge the batteries but also supply power to the house. So the thing is, I use this setting here most most often. Okay, but you see, but the key thing here is this particular remote gives me the ability to make that choice. Right now, if you don't have that remote, if you don't have this remote then you got an inverter yes it will work but you won't you won't have all the capability you won't be able to maximize on the cap the full capabilities of the of your system i mean it's almost like you're only using maybe 25 percent of what you're actually capable of doing with this particular system now now also now i i don't use this for reading battery voltage or amperage because as you see right here it says 28 it, my it says my uh, battery voltage is 28.4 volts. However, the tri the Bogart trimetric says my battery voltage is 28.2. So with this, this is more accurate. This is a true RMS reading. 
So I use this to monitor what goes in my battery bank, what's coming out of my battery bank, and the state of charge. Now, this particular state of charge is, is, is accurate, is very accurate, and I need that because these, with, these nickel, with this nickel iron battery, this is one nickel iron battery that is made up of 19 cells to be, uh, to be accurate in, in its description. So with this nickel iron battery, you cannot tell the state of charge based on battery voltage. And you don't, do, you don't do hydrometer readings with specific gravity and stuff like that because this, is, this battery bank or this particular nickel iron battery has a different chemistry and it's not lead acid. So I need an amp meter to actually tell me what my state of charge is. And so this Bogart trimetric is what I use for that. Now, the Magnum uh, remote here um, it will, you know, it will do the same thing if you had a, a, a battery uh, BMK or battery monitoring kit um, that comes from Magnum Energy. And it's this, it does the same thing as the trimetric, except that it actually integrates with this particular remote unit. And it allows to give it, you know, basically it allows it to have more accurate readings. Um, this is inaccurate. This is a general reading. And this is an accurate reading. So these two meters are, are, they're essentially, you know, working in conjunction with each other. They are performing two different things. This is given to me to, this is for me to control the, uh, the magnum inverter. This is for me to actually read the battery information uh, coming from my nickel iron cells. Okay, now I have this particular unit here. This is a meter unit. And this one here is just to give me information, specific information about what's going on with the particular, this, my charge controller. This is the only reason, I, and I use that to, you know, give me an idea of what the, how many amp hours I have, you know, brought into the bank, uh, what my array voltage is, you know, um, and what my battery voltage is. You can see right here it says 28.2. And here you see 28.1. So they are like within a point of each other, you know, as far as accuracy goes. So I can trust this one for battery information and information dealing with what's going on with my charge controller. Now, I have another meter on the side. This particular meter tells me of the power that's going out from my inverter. Like right now, power is coming from the grid, passing through this inverter to my house, my household loads. And so right now I'm using just under two kilowatts of power in my home. So this particular meter is strictly AC. It tells me, you know, uh, AC information, alternating current. Um, this, this, you know, it's at 247 volts. And this is the, this is the watts, uh, this is the amount of power as far as in watts that you're using in your home. Okay, that's that, so I have that meter there. So this is why I have these particular meters and this is how they work. Um, again, you know, just some information for those folks that are interested in ask, and asked me the question earlier. Um, and uh, ho hopefully I answered it. Okay, take care, YouTube.